guys, it's Jess and I'm coming to you from my High Vibe Kitchen with your Wednesday Wisdom, the yoga of food. So I just ate an entire cantaloupe for breakfast. And I love this idea of mono eating because it gives my body um, the ability to just break down the perfect compilation of nutrients that are in that cantaloupe. It's not competing with other fruits like oranges and bananas and avocados and all this other stuff. Although I love big bowls of fruit and love big bowls of mixed vegetables, sometimes I'll just have a big bowl of sauteed kale or spinach or something like that. So this idea of mono eating is really easy on the digestive tract. So if you've got a sense of digestive tract, then that's something to consider. I do it, you know, a couple times a week. I'll just have one thing for a meal and um, it's super delicious. So mother nature packages her food perfectly. I've said it a million times. I'll say it a million times again. The other thing that mother nature does with her food is that um, she never packages anything like this plantain. Like this plantain isn't just carbohydrates. This orange isn't just vitamin C. There's so much more in here. And these nutrients were never um, made to work in isolation. So this is where the idea of supplementation kind of gets a little, um, it's a little bit um, tricky because number one, the supplement companies are businesses. They're there to make money. And I'm not saying that they're bad guys, but they are there to make money. Number two, when we pull out, let's say just the vitamin C from this, and then we add fillers and we put it into a pill, we're not getting all the other nutrients that were uh, innately designed in this orange to work together to have a full spectrum of nutrition. So when we take supplements, we're not getting all the other stuff that was meant to work with those vitamins or minerals um, in order to bring out their greatest expression. So the only supplementation that we use is a My Kind Organics, and we're not associated with them at all. I just like this brand. It's vegan. It's a B12 spray. So we take that, everything else we get from a whole foods plant-based diet. So if you're taking a lot of supplements, good to just kind of take a step back, be mindful about it, see what you're taking. If you are somebody who wants to eat more plant-based, make sure that those supplements are vegan because they're not all vegan. And then look at your diet. You might already be getting what you need. You know, vitamin C is one of those uh, vitamins where if you get too much of it, if I'm eating a lot of oranges, I don't need to take a supplement because all the excess vitamin C in my body, is, I'm just going to pee it out. So it's like a waste of money. So look at your diet, look at the supplements you're taking, and just see, you might already be getting what you need. If you're eating a whole foods, plant-based diet across the spectrum, chances are you're getting exactly what you need. You're getting all your fats, your proteins, and your carbohydrates, right? Those are your macronutrients. And then you have your micronutrients, your vitamins, your antioxidants, your phytochemicals, uh, and your minerals. So best to get those from a whole food source than it is to get it from a pill. Um, and then one more example before I leave you of this idea of these things working in combination with each other, a great example is the iron that you get from a whole foods plant-based diet is a non-heme iron. You need vitamin C in order for that non-heme iron to be bioavailable in the body to top off your iron stores. So it's a great example of how things work together. So start to see food in its full spectrum, total connectivity, right? Relying on the other nutrients and, and um, the macronutrients and the micronutrients to work together to pull out full spectrum health as opposed to reducing it, like taking this magnificent miracle of a plantain that I'm patiently waiting to be ripened, uh, instead of taking this and just saying, ah, it's a carb, I'm cutting down on my carbs. There's so much in here, it's perfection. So you really can't lose on a whole foods plant-based diet. Do you want me to say it again? You really can't lose on a whole foods plant-based diet, you guys. Eat mindfully, chew your food, feel the gratitude for the mass abundance every time you look at that beautiful, colorful plate in front of you. Namaste.